came. Oh. That's where you find it here. Uh, our presentation is on Edgar Allan Poe, the Union Biographical Approach over the Raven and the Telltale Heart. Um, Michael, Juan, and Pro. So our central idea is that Edgar Allan Poe's downfall is tragedies and all his vices like drinking, gambling, everything in his life up to this is told as a story. Stories like The Raven, Telltale Heart, Annabelle and Me, all those travesties in life kind of help against writing those novels and those stories. So before we begin, we got to go over Edgar Allan Poe's life a little bit, which is in a biographical approach. He was born January 19th, 1909 in Boston, Massachusetts. Both his parents were actors, and then well, he died October 7th, 1849. Nobody really knows how. There's a lot of different theories that really went over in the other part of books. And then, well, his wife was Virginia Lisa Clem Poe. That was his cousin. They married when she was 13 years old. I think he was 22. Uh, he was a poet, writer, editor, and some of his famous works, The Raven, The Telltale Heart, and The Annabelle Lee. His background. Uh, this is some of the stuff that kind of led to him losing his mind later on. So, to so begin, Poe's father, David, he walked out on his family when he was very, very young. And when he was three years old, his mother died of tuberculosis, which the tuberculosis is something that really reoccurs in his life later on. His mother, his foster mother, Frances, also died of tuberculosis. He was adopted by a very successful uh, tobacco farmer, with Frances and Alan. And he had a very strange relationship with his foster father, John Allen, who eventually got him into West Point Academy where he was kicked out and after refusing to do all the things that the native did. And that made him, that made his father, or his foster father, leave him out of his will, leave him out of his life. And that's something that really affected Poe later on. That it caused him to drink more, gamble more, and stuff. And then there was life problems. He was constantly in debt. After school, he had to pay. He started gambling, and put him into more debt and more. And then she started drinking. His brother was also an alcoholic, so it reoccurred with him. And then that alcoholic problem caused him to get kicked out of different publishers and magazines. He just kept getting, he couldn't get a really sustain a job. And then whatever he was, whatever money he was making from publishing, it wasn't that much, so he was never able to meet the debt. And then he had the, the gambling problem. And then his, his wife died of tuberculosis, like his mother and like his foster mother. And this really, it's one of the things that really devastated him to leave to do it, to doing a lot of his different books. Tell Heart. Okay. Uh, the Tell Heart was originally published in 18, January 1843 uh, by Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, James Russell Lowell was the publisher, and it was like a short story gothic horror fiction because at that time he was like one of the only ones that was doing like horror fiction. Uh, uh, a summary for uh, Telltale Heart, uh, it was about a man who had, a man had a, a mission to kill another man over his eye because he felt it was demonic, he felt like it was just, a, a, I guess, like a demon, and he wanted to get rid of it, but it compares to his life because he was going through a lot at that time, he was an alcoholic, he was in debt, uh, his wife was sick, his parents had died, his foster parents had like left him, his father shunned him, so this caused him to just have like a, have like a, he was just like in a bad place at that time. So like the eye, what well, we think the eye represented was like his alcoholism, and he just wanted to defeat it, and it made him lose his mind over it because he could never stop being an alcoholic. Um, the man in the story claims to be sane, uh, claims to be sane, but he's describing how he committed the murder. So I'm like sure, I mean, Poe was probably like, you know, he was, uh, he was trying to like be sane, but he was always drunk all the time or on, on opiates or anything. He was, the way I say it, he was an insane genius because he knew, he knew like what he could do. He knew what his like uh, talents were, but he was just so crazy, and his imagination was just out of the world for anyone uh, to really understand him. Uh, his guilt to claim the man, they don't narrate to confess to the murder due to the fact that he kept on hearing a beating heart, even though the Bolshevik man was dead. Um, even though like his parents had died. He still felt like, a, like, I guess, a guilt. Maybe he, he felt like he wasn't good enough for his family. He felt like he wasn't good enough for his uh, for his foster family because his dad shunned him. He, he wouldn't allow. He didn't want. He the father gave um, Poe's, I guess, brother or sister 
as a father knew how he had another illegitimate son, so he gave all his fortune to the illegitimate son that he didn't even know he had left instead of giving the money or giving the will to the Pope. So that kind of made him go crazy. Uh, the relations, well, they all they all just pertain to his life about how tuberculosis had killed his, killed off his family. Um, so he was just writing from a deep place in his life. I I would like. Just like the way artists are today in music, the way they, you know, they go through things in life, they get drunk, or they drink and do drugs, and then they go write music. That's that's basically what he did. So I guess you can call him. He would basically be a modern day artist, you know, in these in these days. But the times have changed. So back then it was real. It was abnormal to be to be what he was. And everyone around him said that um, he was abnormal, which made him. So anyone that was abnormal, they would never. They would be called crazy. But everyone knew that he was. But that he was a genius. Okay, so for the Raven, it's a really popular story. Most of you have heard it. It's originally published in January 1845. The author is Edgar Allan Poe. The genre was gothic fiction, which, like most, all of his work. A little summary on the Raven. Um, well, a Raven lies into the unnamed author. I could put unnamed narrator, I'm sorry, window, who is mourning the love of his wife, like, I'm wrong. And most of his work, it's unnamed narrator, so we're thinking it's based off him. And it's like, a man talks, but talks to the raven, hoping to get a reply, but the only word the raven says is nevermore, and that's repeated on and on throughout the story. The man repeated and it says there, like, it's repeated on and on. And the unnamed narrator loses his sanity over the bird. So the relations to it is like the rest of his work. He was losing his mind from drugs, alcohol, and around the same time, his, the love of his life, his wife was getting sick with tuberculosis. So, he, so he was, he was struggling with that, and he was writing this gothic fiction, trying to get through it. 